Paula P. Works here, Back Like We Never Left, with chapter 1105 of One Piece, entitled The Height of Folly. Okay, so we're kind of not going to go beat for beat. We're just going to skip around to some points of interest, okay? First point of interest, the cover request, okay? By Oda Mania's Big Brother. So I... I I, do, I don't know what that means. Uh, we have Carrot preparing stew for Inugarashi and Nekomamushi. Um, this is interesting. This is very interesting because Carrot is not supposed to be with them. So why is she with them? Because, okay, the cat and the dog are supposed to be on Wano, right? And then she was supposed to go back to Zoe. But we don't see it in the manga and it's suggested in the anime. As far as I know, she doesn't actually go on the elephant. We have yet to see her on the elephant. I still think she's a stowaway on the sunny. However, we shall see. I don't know. But like I've said before, cover requests are hints. They're hints. They're not like a cover story. They're not actually canonical evidence of events that are happening but they are hints as to what could be happening or what has happened so i think i'm going to go on the positive route because we are carrot boys over here and say that she is still a stowaway on the sunny and she's been a stowaway all the time like how she was introduced way back in the day that's what i think but we shall see we shall see I don't know, but I'm sure by the end of this arc, we would have our answer. So moving on with the chapter. Uh, so the Buster Call is going to go off, right? And one of the coldest lines I see Kizaru say is he says, go to Doll. And I really like how Doll is becoming a sort of premiere marine character because she was just in the anime i think like this past week or the week before so it's super cool that she's getting so much screen time and i wonder if she has any delphine abilities or anything like that we're going to find out if she does i am still on the fence about what she may have i kind of do want her to have that house cat zone that marguerite was supposed to have you know marguerite from amazon lily i still think that there's a small possibility that doll has that fruit because it's interesting that the guy right next to her in this chapter if i'm not mistaken is the otter guy which we gotta have a doll fruit confirmation for him too like what's the name of his doll fruit you know who doesn't have a doe fruit confirmation either? Uh, Dalmatian. That's super weird. Like, he's been in the series for decades now, I think. Because <laughs> I, I don't know if we see him before Marine Ford, but I know he's a Marine Ford. And I know he's got like finger pistol or something. And I think it's like finger pistol and, uh, moonwalk. Because he's got some six power stuff. So, yeah, he hasn't been revealed either. So we gotta wait on that. But yeah, this is where, Saturn just kind of reveals how evil he is, and he tells Vegapunk that, oh, I'm sinking Egghead because you're greedy, and you found out the one thing you weren't supposed to research, like those greedy archaeologists back on Ohara. So I sunk your boy's boat. They're dead. Egghead's dead. It's all your fault, Vegapunk. You're an idiot. And Vegapunk's like, what about humanity? And <laughs> Saturn's response to that is that he sucked his boy's ship. But it's kind of like, you idiot, I'm evil. My point is to keep the status quo of the government level. What are you talking about, humanity? I am humanity, dummy. That's so funny to me. It's so funny how evil he is. Oh, it's fitting, though. It's nice. It's nice to see someone just straight cut evil we're probably gonna find out more about him in the future but yeah i think it's nice i think it's nice to have another interesting thing i didn't know even though we've seen it multiple times now brooke has full-on cryokinesis and i i i knew that but i didn't know that i didn't know he could just generate ice because in order to move the ship that is on the clouds on egghead brooke has frozen a pathway for the Sunny to slide upon. And it's very funny that he's with Lilith now. And Lilith smacks him for not having a backup plan to stop the ship. Because they're just going to go flying off the edge. I find that very funny. And it further makes me think that if any Vegapunks are getting out of this situation. 
is most likely going to be Lilith and York because even though we see Edison here, I can see Edison and Atlas kicking the bucket because the reason why I say that is Lilith and York are the only ones who are fully biological. As far as we know, they have no weird cybernetic parts, whereas everyone else, including the Stella, is a robot or a cyborg or something weird. Because I don't know what Atlas is. Atlas may be like a mixture of both. Maybe she's just a cyborg because if I'm not mistaken, she did cough up blood, but her face can come off like a mask, which is creepy. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember if she coughed up blood or not. I can't recall. If I find it, I'll I'll put it up on screen. But I, I seriously can't recall. But yeah, uh, Brooke has full on cryokinesis. I wonder if he's going to fight Kuzan in the future. That'd be kind of sick because it's just those two. And then Lindbergh from the Revolutionary Army has a freeze gun. Not a lot of ice powers. Oh, and of course, Yamato has ice powers. But yeah, as far as Dofus go, there aren't a lot. It's just those three. It's Yamato, Brooke, and then Kuzan. And I like how Love does compliment Brooke on his powers being quite extraordinary. And she calls them Bones which is nice. It's also nice just to see Brooke having screen time and doing things. It's, it's always nice to see that. So yeah, the Buster call is starting. Atlas, Frankie, Kuma, and Bonnie escape on the vacuum rocket, which is cut by Kizaru. It is really crazy that it takes them 32 seconds to get to their destination, but it just shows you how fast Kizaru is because he cuts it with his lightsaber, cuts the two with his lightsaber, and they go flying. As they're going flying, the Pacifista Mark III's have their sights on their group as they're flying through the air. And Kuma, even though I still think that he's dead, his instincts kick in because I guess his body is still aware and he grabs Bonnie as the Pacifista Mark III's are charging up their lasers. Now, this is going to be the point of contention whether kuma has his fruit or not because i had a video made last week about how i think kuma's dead and doesn't have the fruit anymore if he pulls out his hand and blocks all the lasers then he's still alive he still has his fruit if not if he gets shot up and falls somewhere then that's how we know that yeah he's He's dead and his body's just acting on instinct. It truly is the power of love keeping his body active to protect Bonnie. So that's going to be crazy. And I love how Saturn's like, oh, how ironic. You're going to die to yourself and your daughter's going to die to yourself too as your clones gun both of you down. Which is like, geez, Saturn, all right. <laughs> what the world? Also, uh, apparently Sanji's going to be on the way to save them. I don't know if he's fast enough. He very well could be. He very well could be. Because I don't know if that old idea of him fighting Kizaru in the future is going to come true. It's becoming more and more likely that that very well could happen, but I'm on the fence. So, cut back to the food machine that we saw at the start of the arc, and we see Luffy, two stuff to move. Now, my theory is that Caribou has taken him there, and seeing as how he was well enough after the initial uh, feeding that Caribou gave him, he just started hitting buttons on the machine. And the machine just kept making food and he kept eating and eating and eating. That's why I think what was going on. I wonder, are we going to see Tank Man again? Because we're setting up a situation for Tank Man to exist because Luffy is getting more and more stuffed. I don't know. I want that to happen, but I'm not sure. Though it's very possible, too, that Caribou does know how to work the food machine because it's likely i'm not sure how this works out in the timeline but it's very likely that he's been spying around egghead all this time don't know very possible we know he's here he was on the ship and he left last time we saw him so yeah i don't know we'll have to see but that's an idea that i'm going with that caribou has been the savior of the day and is ultimately responsible for luffy getting back on his feet so at the end of the chapter we find out very short chapter this week. We find out that the Vegapunk scientists that escaped Egghead are actually fine because somebody is on their way. Of course, I think this is the Blackbeard group because they're the only group that hasn't been resolved yet. We haven't seen them on the island, so it'll make a lot of sense that they are here. Now, what would make sense to me based on a video I'm going to make very soon, a uh, sequel video to a video I've already made, check that out. 
I ultimately think that they have captured the scientists and their aim may be to capture Vegapunk. But instead of capturing Vegapunk, they're going to give Vegapunk York and Vegapunk York is going to be a member of the Blackbeard Pirates or another option which can work in tandem with this is that they use pudding to extract the memory from punk records along with getting Vegapunk York. They could do both. They could do both. They could get the memories from punk records, feed them into Vegapunk York. And therefore you basically have a full fledged Vegapunk. You could, you could, or have some way to, I guess, modify the film made by pudding to work like punk records i'm not sure i'm not sure how the interaction would work but it would be interesting to see those two powers interact with one another i still think york is going to join the blackbeard pirates because they don't have somebody like her on their side the straw hats do they have frankie obviously but the blackbeard pirates don't i don't think shanks's group for example needs that and with the cross guild group i'm i'm not too sure how that would work out but that's something for another time but i think that's a very interesting thing to think about are all of these groups these yonko organizations are they going to have scientists on their side because the obvious thing to go to with that would be say they employ mads or neo mads i should say and they get Caesar Clown and Judge under their banner. I'm talking about with Cross Guild, which would kind of make sense because Cross Guild is a legion of past villains and Caesar Clown and Vince Smoke Judge are past villains. So they do fit the bill and they are kind of goofy, which kind of fits the majority of the feel of how Cross Guild's panning out. But I don't know. We'll have to see. But this chapter is very cool for how short it is. There's no break next week, which is also great because, uh, oh boy, those break weeks be hidden heavy. They really do. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure what the fate of Kuma is going to be. I do think it's very likely that the pacifists do just light him up because I'm telling you, I doubt that he has the pawpaw fruit. I really do doubt it. He might, though. He might actually have the pawpaw fruit, but the likelihood that he does is very, very minimal. And uh, Luffy being under siege by Marines, I don't think it's going to be a matter at all. Unless Karibu just comes around and eats them all. I mean, that's a possibility, too. He could just swallow all the Marines and give Luffy a chance to recover. Then again, too, Luffy could just use Conquerors and knock them all out. So, I mean, either way, it... it honestly does not matter but um yeah i'm wondering how things are going to pan out i still don't think that vegapunk's gonna make it like i could see stella dying i could see stella dying i really could see that because other than reuniting with mads i don't see a point for him moving forward so yeah because i mean what would he be after this arc the point of this arc was to reveal him i know he's got some more dough fruit like secrets to unveil but i don't know what other purpose he would have the narrative and the problem with that is like i said We'll have at most two other characters who could do that too. We'll have Lilith, we'll have York. So we'll get that information one way or another. Stella dying here doesn't necessarily mean Delphi research is going to go out the way. It's just going to just not be a thing because we will still have people who are Vegapunk around in the story. So it doesn't really matter what happens to Vegapunk at this point. Which is a very somber note, but it's very true. I mean, what is there to gain from him living through all these events? It's still weird, though, because I'm wondering how York and Lilith can operate without the main Vegapunk. It's it's weird that they're individuals at the same time that they are each other. And in being each other, they are Vegapunk. I I still don't understand that it's really strange to me but they are individuals they have their own goals and motivations and i would still like to see why york betrayed vegapunk because i still think i'm right in saying that 
Vegapunk abuse York and didn't let her in on scientific discovery. He just used her as a stomach and a rectum. So I think that's ultimately why she became evil because she was sat with her obsessions and made to fixate on those obsessions all the time. But she's more than that. She's a deeper character than that. She's a deeper person than that. So I think that's the reason why she's ultimately turning evil. And it would be so interesting to see if she really does join the Blackbeard Pirates or begs to come along with Blackbeard. Because ultimately, she's going to be more valuable than Punk Records because she can develop and grow and perhaps make her own evil kingdom of science on the pirate island and then two terraforming the pirate island would be easier than terraforming egghead because you literally have a guy on the island who is the island and can help you build the island up so all in all that would be really cool if that were to happen but with that that's all i have for you today thank you so much for watching